It was a dark and stormy night. Ah, no, no, no. It was a very dark and stormy night. No, no. A very dark and very stormy night. A night perfectly made for crime. But little did the crooked criminals know, it was also a perfect night for Ace Detective Peggy Periwinkle to be on the prowl for purloiners, pilferers, and petty cooks. Not cooks, crooks. Hi, Blueberry. <laughs> Hello there, Scouty. Hey! Uh, oh, hello, Strawberry. Cherry. What are you working on? <laughs> oh, uh, just trying to write a detective story as spectacular as a Patty Persimmon mystery. I want to submit it to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Wow, do you think they would buy it? Uh, not in its present form. No. I mean, here I am, the ultimate Patty Persimmon detective fan, and I can't even come up with a decent mystery to solve. It's absolutely criminal! <laughs> oh, what a good boy, Scotty. Aren't you talented? Oh, yes, you are. Please. Well, I'd love to read your story when you're finished. While you're waiting, guess what I just got in? The latest Patty Persimmon novel, The Mystery of the Mangled Macaroni. I ordered 200 copies. Oh, uh, my goodness. Bosley, could you please toss me down a mangled macaroni? Um, I don't think... Uh, I mean... Now, where is that bookworm? Bosley? Coming up or down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. It's her best yet. A master criminal creeps into a macaroni factory, makes off with the cheese, and, well, I don't want to give away the ending, but I can tell you, it's a shocker. Oh! Enjoy! Compliments of Blueberry's Bookstore. Oh, that's very kind of you, but I still have the mystery of the haunted cell phone and the case of the gone, gone gondolier to finish before I get to this one. Cherry? Oh, if I could come back for it, I'm only halfway through the half-explained case of the half-empty milk glass, and then I have Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crooked, uh, crackling... Cur curtailed? Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crumbling cookie. It's... <sighs> electrifying. But we can't wait to come back for... Uh, the mangled macaroon. Hmm. Uh, we actually came back for... Would you happen to have the new Berry Big Glitz and Glamour magazine? We wanted to see where Cherry's latest song is on the charts. <sighs> Coming right up. Wait, watch this. Scouty, here, boy! Very big glitz and glamour magazine. Fetch, boy! No, that's point. Fetch, Scouty, fetch! I've been training him all week. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Scouty. Good boy. No, Scouty, it is not a toy. <laughs> now, now, really? <laughs> ah! oh. Now, where'd he go? There you are. <laughs> Cherry, sorry about the uh, slobber. <laughs> no worries. Thank you, Scouty. Thank See you. See you later, Blueberry. 
You want me to read it to you again? <laughs> I'm glad someone around here appreciates Patty Persimmon as much as I do. <laughs> Say, I know someone else who loves Patty as much as we do. Huckleberry! I can't wait to read it. But I've been super busy trying to get Huck's Home for Homeless Dogs up on its feet. I'm afraid it's just not going to happen. Oh, Huckleberry, I'm so sorry. Hey, I, uh, have an idea that... Uh, Scouty, down! That might help us both out. If you wouldn't mind coming out to... Scouty! To Berry Bitty City for a couple of days. What kind of idea? Scouty! Hey there, Scouty. Tom Tom Town Boy. I guess Tom Tom wouldn't mind a visit. Oh, yes. I know Scouty really misses Tom Tom. Tom Tom uh, misses Scouty, too. So, uh, I was trying to write a mystery story to submit to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. That's great, Blueberry. But I wasn't coming up with a lot of ideas, so I thought since you're as big a Patty Persimmon detective fan as I am, perhaps we could write the story together? If they bought the story, you would have funds for your pet shelter. Wow, I'm flattered that you'd ask me, but I've never written a story before. Oh, it'll be easy. We'll just... <laughs> Scouty, behave. We'll just write it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll be there tonight and... I'll be there. Tom Tom, no. And this time we won't take a wrong turn. <laughs> okay, see ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Ha! We're not getting stuck in there again, right, Tom Tom? Wow, they must have added a tunnel since we were here. Hmm, I think we should go this way. That's okay, don't worry. I know exactly where I'm going. Ah, oh, mud pies. Could you please get that, Bosley? Certainly. Good evening. Blueberry's Berry Bitty Bookstore. Bosley Bookworm speaking. May I speak with Blueberry? Oh, she's right here. Uh, for you, Blueberry. Thanks, Bosley. Blueberry speaking. Oh, hi, Huckleberry. You're where? That's it. Bring her down. Huckleberry? You okay in there? Blueberry? Hi. Uh, any idea how long before I can get out of here? Tell them not to fret. We'll have them out of there by dinner time. <laughs> no worries. You and I are expert Penny Persimmon fans. Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine is going to love our story. When we're inside, we need to use our inside voices and inside manners, all right? Now, please sit. No, Scouty. That's Search. <laughs> I'm still training him. See? Like Tom Tom. Sit. Good boy, Scouty. So, I have this idea for a brand new detective. Peggy Periwinkle. What do you think? Uh, sounds great, but isn't it a little bit like Patty Persimmon? As close as I could get. But don't you think we should invent something, I don't know, different? Oh, no. That's the whole idea. It is? Sure. Because anyone who likes Patty Persimmon will automatically love Peggy Periwinkle. I guess. I knew you'd like it. You know, I've always had this idea for a new detective team who would go and... Don't worry. I have it all worked out. Ready? Okay, take this down. It all began on a dark and stormy night. Uh, no, strike that. A very dark and stormy night. A night perfectly made for... For... Crime? Crime! But 
little did the creeping, crooked criminals know, it also was a perfect night for... Patty, uh, Peggy Periwinkle, Ace Detective. Finished. The Berry Betty Mysteries editors are going to love it. It took all night, but it was worth it. Our story is great. Right, Huckleberry? Hey, oh, what? Yeah, oh, yeah, great. Hmm, what time is it? Time to mail our story. Well, I don't know about our story. I hardly had any ideas at all. Oh, that's silly. We're a great team. I'll meet you at Strawberry's Cafe for breakfast as soon as I mail this off at the post office. Bye! <laughs> Strawberry? Blueberry pancakes, fresh and hot. Mmm, my favorite. Thanks for keeping breakfast going. Sorry I was late. I started telling everyone at the post office about the story How Can I Wrote, and before I knew it, I just had to read them the whole thing, and they absolutely loved it. Everyone said it was just like a Patty Persimmon book. Strawberry, I have found the perfect writing partner. I'm gonna tell Huck that after we sell this story, we should just keep on writing Peggy Periwinkle books. Wait, where is Huck? I thought we were going to... Have breakfast? Yeah. No, I mean, I thought he'd be here when I, uh... He already ate and left. I've said he had an idea for something he wanted to write. Oh, sugar? Oh, um, uh, no, no thanks. Okay, how about this? Hmm? A perfect day in every way. <gasps> Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. I like that. Really? Yeah, I, I hear it like this. A perfect day in every way. Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. Nice. How about this for the last verse? I could write this song all by myself. Sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely. It's true. Everything is better with you. They're writing a song together? That's just beautiful. I could write this song all by myself. Sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely, it's true. Everything is better with you. It was an even darker and stormier night than the night before. Peggy Periwinkle was looking for her flashlight when all of a sudden... Hi, Blueberry. Hello. Uh, sorry I was late for breakfast. When I got there, you'd already gone. Yeah, I had to go and I needed to... I mean, I was, uh... Hey, could I get some paper from you? And pencils? Oh, well, certainly. <sighs> you know what we say? A complete line of stationery is always in stock at Blueberry's Bookstore. Doing some writing? Oh, just, you know, good to have in case any ideas pop up. Sort of jot them down. <laughs> Thanks. Well, see you later. Wait! Um, did I ever tell you that of all the Patty Persimmon fans in the Berry Bitty world, I have the largest collection of... Persimmon Mystery Club detective hats? Wow! And the most complete collection of official Patty Persimmon magnifying glasses! Incredible! Oh, wow! Oh, uh, look at the time! Gotta run! I have to, uh... Wow, thanks! Blueberry, that's... that's just fantastic! Like to look at it again sometime, but I gotta, uh, see ya. I'm going to get to the bottom of this mystery, or my name isn't... Peggy Periwinkle. I think this will finish it. <gasps> Scouty! Shh. 
How's that? Perfect. A perfect day in every way. Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. Things are so much better when you're around. You pick me up when I'm feeling down. We make memories together that can't be replaced. I could write this song all by myself, sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely, it's true. Everything is better with you. I could be alone all day, by myself, alone some way. It doesn't matter. with you jamming with you is so much fun we play together two for one we're there for each other just John, John, like no! Be. Go back. what's that what is it boy what'd you see come on Tom Tom Blueberry, can I get you something? Your guitar? My guitar? I was wondering if I could borrow it. Of course. Are you... Well, I thought it would be nice to learn how to play. You know, music. And maybe sing and... Sure. You know, Cherry's a terrific teacher. Oh. Well, I'll just try on my own uh, at first. Thank you, Strawberry. Anytime. Becoming a pop star is going to be harder than I thought. I'm still not sure I understand. Well, Lemon, what I'm looking for is... Well, what's in style now? <sighs> well, what about this one I showed you before? I mean, more like something like... Oh, for example, what hairstyle did Cherry get the last time she was here? It's sort of low-key. I mean, if you're going for the newest, hippest, cutting edge... Uh, well, what if... Let's say Cherry, for example. I mean, I'm just using her as an example. I could say any pop star. I could say Delia Dragonfruit or the Four Berries or, hmm. you know... So, if Cherry, just for example, was about to perform a song at a concert, what if you did my hair like you think she'd wear it? Well, I'd have to ask her. Oh, no, uh, don't do that. Because it would depend on the venue and the theme. And... Do you have any other magazines? I'm sorry, Blueberry, but I gotta reschedule you. We've used up your whole appointment style consulting instead of styling. And Plum has a manicure in two minutes. Oh. Why don't you take these magazines home and look them over and decide what is you? That's just it. Me isn't good enough. But no matter what Peggy Periwinkle did, she could not solve the greatest mystery of all. Hi, Blueberry. I uh, hope I'm not too late to get some more copies of tomorrow's menu. Uh, no, that's fine. Just leave it and I'll have it, um, uh, done by morning. Working on another story? Mm-hmm. But Huckleberry's not here. Isn't he writing with you? I guess not anymore. Blueberry, is something wrong? Oh, Strawberry. <laughs> I think he has a new writing partner. Who? Cherry Jam! They're writing a song together. Oh, Blueberry. It was supposed to be a surprise. A surprise? The words Huckleberry wrote that Cherry put to music. He wrote them for you. He wanted to show you that he's a good writer, even if he can't write exactly like the Patty Persimmon books. Oh, no! I made him think I didn't like his ideas. I never gave him a chance to get a word in edgewise. Oh, mystery solved. Okay, this is the one. 
This hat is going to give me the inspiration for great mystery ideas. You had good ideas. I just wasn't listening. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry about the whole misunderstanding about the song. Were you really going to change your hairstyle? But you're the one who taught me that you always have to be yourself. Then you know people like you for who you are. Remember? I remember. Well, how about we start our story? This time with your ideas. Okay, but just jump in any time, all right? I will. It wasn't a dark and stormy night. It was a wild and windy day. A day that was perfect for... Stan and Stacy, stealth sleuths. I like it. 